the pastor Pastora Conchita, to Doro, and of course to Pastora, uh, uh, to, <laughs> to all our pastors and pastoras in here, in Agape, to God be the glory sa buhay ninyo. Of course, uh, headed by our presbyter in Cyprus chapter, Pastora Librada. Okay. And God is expanding the word of the Lord here, brothers and sisters, and it is our desire. Thank you so much, fellow pastors. Uh, Pastor Hermie, Mami Hermie is here with us, uh, and other pastors. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the thing that we really uh, admire here in Cyprus. Dahil kayo, lahat kayo, halos lahat kayo, 99% ay naka full time in your uh, in your secular job. Yet you have uh, interfellowships. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. to organize interfellowship. And that is really an amazing experience here. That's why, brothers and sisters, kung matatandaan po ninyo, nag-practice po kami sa inyo, na dadalhin namin dito sa Europa or dito sa Nicosia ang IAMB Europe and so we are here we will be here okay I'm already okay so uh, please take note of the date brothers and sisters reserve into your calendar okay ayan kapaman uh, Okay, for our screen, brothers and sisters. Uh, I promised before that uh, that we will be bringing the convention here in, in Nicosia. And uh, uh, ready na po tayo for the upcoming convention na po na po na Okay. Okay. Uh, IAB Europe Year 11 District Convention. Ibabalikan na lang natin kapag na-open yan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please uh, reserve into your calendar. And we are inviting everyone, brothers and sisters. And that is one of uh, the reason why we are here. It is because kahapon, uh, we conducted an ocular inspection. Okay. Ocular talaga. We visited. Okay. Ayan. Okay. I am the Europe Year 11 District Convention date that, that will be October 26, 27, 28, and 29, 2023. Awat tirasun yun na. Awat tirasun yung hang umayon. Wala na kayong reason na hindi makakarating dahil ngayon pala pinapasabi na namin please reserve that date. Dahil Gusto namin na magkasama tayo because this is not exclusive to the IAMB Church but because we saw it, I personally saw it that the Lord is doing a great thing in here in Cyprus and we just come here, we are just, uh, we are just, we, we just desire to become a part of the development of uh, the ministry of the Lord in here. This is not an exclusive uh, of the IFB. IFB is just the organizer, brothers and sisters. Uh, and so please uh, reserve October 26, 27, and 20, uh, 27, 28, and 29. Okay, we'll be having delegates from Europe, United States of America. <laughs> Typo. Okay, Canada, Australia, Israel, Philippines, Africa, and Malaysia. We are trying uh, those uh, brethren from the Philippines. They're trying to process uh, their visa. Pero kailangan nila as na, na, ma, madali daw, daw. 
Madali daw makakuha sila ng visa papunta here from, from the Philippines to here if they have already a U.S. visa. Okay, so yung mga nakapunta na ng U.S., mas madali na makakuha sila ng European visa or Schengen visa. So four more details. If you know somebody or if you know most especially pastors, we are we are prioritizing pastors. Okay, please contact us if uh, you know somebody who are willing to uh, avail for the extension or uh, the invitation to, to, to come from the Philippines to here, brothers and sisters. Pero, mahigpit na mahigpit na mahigpit po kami. Dapat po lang mag-TNT afterward. Kailangan po nilang makauwi afterward. Uh, they will be signing a uh, 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 They will be signing a uh, Ano tawag? Sorry, no? Agreement. Okay, yes. Agreement. Uh, uh, waiver. Uh, they will be signing a document na talagang uuwi po sila afterwards. Okay. Hindi po po pwede dahil madadali po ang ILB because ILB will be the sponsoring uh, uh, the sponsoring um, uh, organization or company. So madadali po ang organization. In that case, Okay, ayaw po natin yun. Okay, venue, kahapon po, if you know, Semele, ano ba yun? Semele Hotel, that is in Tico City. Where is that? Specific place. John Kennedy. John Kennedy. Okay. Uh, kung saan ginanap po ang passporting daw, doon, ka, doon, doon daw po, uh, doon, doon yun, yung, yung Semele. Hotel. Okay. We are working on it. We are working on it that that will be the package. Uh, and it will be a package, room, uh, hall, and then catering. So, abangan po ang susunod na kabanata. That's why we will be having a meeting afterwards or after this presentation, brothers and sisters. Our daily targets. Okay, our daily target plans. October 25, Wednesday, that will be arrival. We will be, our delegates will arrive on Wednesday. Uh, uh, that is April or uh, October 25. And then October 26, in the morning, it will be a city tour. Okay. We will be going to the biblical places, okay? Uh, that's uh, in the morning and afternoon of Thursday. And at night, we'll be starting the convention for the opening ceremony. October 17th, Friday convention. October 28th, Saturday convention. October 29th, Sunday, that will be the last one. Morning, in the morning, concluding activity. And afternoon, that will be going home. So brothers and sisters, please take note into your calendar once again. October 20, uh, October 25, 26, 27, 28, uh, okay. Basta yung 26, kahit yung 26 lang ng gabi. Okay, if you will not join the tour or the city tour, if you will be joining the city tour, then uh, be sure that you will be with us on the Thursday, October 26th, that's the opening ceremony. Most especially, Cyprus residents will be the one to, uh, in charge of the air opening ceremony. We'll be having a planning together, how it, it, it will be done. Kayo mga taga Cyprus, kayo ang mag-welcome sa amin. Alangan naman ang mga taga Europe ang mag-welcome sa so, mga taga Cyprus. Okay. So, it, kayo ito, kayo. Yung opening ceremony, so kayo ang mag-wawel kami. Hindi ko alam kung uh, anong isusuot nyo, green olet, or, uh, or violet, or whatsoever. Basta akranyak kayo ito, kaleta na rano. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. Okay, are you enjoying? Yes! Praise the name of the Lord.
name of the Lord. Our theme for today is Jesus Christ, the hope. Okay, Jesus Christ, the hope and the anchor of our soul. Pero lang po akong ipatlang content because before discussing this message, brothers and sisters. Please, if you know somebody who lives in Oslo, Norway, dahil on Thursday, uh, Huebes Santo. Okay, Huebes Santo, Viernes Santo, sa Kalo Gloria, at Domingo Aleluya. Okay, and that would be J. Oslo, Norway. Di ba ganoon sa Roman Catholic? Hindi po din yung natatanong, ah, sa Kristal po ako. Dating sa Kristal po ako, ng Roman Catholic, kaya... Kaya alam ko ang 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 amin din. Pasensya na kayo ha. Pasensya, pasensya na kayo at ang mong nga po ang hindi ah, church, church, church. Okay. Kurang may hindi. Kurang may, ah, kurang may father may hindi. Tawin na tayo. Ah, kurang may father may hindi. Let me say it in the word. Ah, ito po nga man mga pade. Kung namin mo tingin sa Kristal ko, oh, rinawan man man tayo sa mga nasaya, tibina. Ano yun? Tanong mo po dito po na, sabi niya, parang may may namamatay na. Tapos yung sagot, kahit na walang namamatay, kung wala ka namang bigay. Ano ka na kalain mo? Of description in regard 
for our Lord Jesus Christ, right? Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the King. Jesus is Emmanuel and everything, okay? And so on and so forth. But this time, for us, para makakain na, <laughs> dahil I'm sure, okay, naghihintay na ang ating pagkapakain talaga na sa utak ko. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm sure, brothers and sisters, this will give us a presentation, a clear view. I would just like to give two clear views uh, on why the Lord or the writer of Hebrew, dahil sa Hebrew tayo. If you were here last September, last year? Is that September? No man dito kami? If you were here last September, I talked about again verse that was found in uh, in Hebrews once again. And now I am giving again a word or a verse in the book of Hebrew. Please allow me to give a certain point. Okay. Bakit kailangan that I need to emphasize yung tinatawag natin na the writer of every book. Ganito kasi. So halimbawa, kung Acts yung verse, Matthew yung verse, Malakay yung verse, Psalms yung verse, meron po kasi kaakibat na rason. There is a corresponding story kung bakit nasulat yun. Don't you know that Hebrew one of the writer of Hebrew, the book of Hebrew, is none the less than the Apostle Paul. Although some Bible scholars, brothers and sisters, presented it or acknowledged it, na hindi lang si Apostle Paul tao ang sumulat na the book of Hebrews, but most part of the book of Hebrew. It was written by the Apostle Paul. Now, so kung ang sinulat, ako ang sumulat or gumawa na the book of Hebrews ay mostly ay si Apostle Paul, the story that I will be presenting to you, it's of course associated to what happened to then the Apostle Paul. So listen, it is because iikot ang ating story, iikot ang ating understanding why the Apostle Paul described Jesus Christ as the hope and the anchor. What was in the heart? What was in the mind? What was in the projection of Apostle Paul when he wrote that Jesus Christ is the hope and the anchor. So, hindi po pwede na, halimbawa, ano, si Pastora Dominguez, okay, Pastora, okay, si Pastora Dominguez, hindi po pwede na walang rason na ganyan ang kanyang buhok ngayon. <laughs> There is a reason. There must be a context. Ang, ang sinasabi natin, context yung ang tawag doon. See, it will be context. Context. Why are you here in Cyprus? There must be a reason. There must be a context. There must be a story. Si Ate Cecilia sabi niya, sa mga kapwa ko mga singer. There must be a context why she remains single. Kaya hindi natin po pwedeng sabihin na, di ka kumama na kasama. Sayang ipintas mo. Okay, para na kayo mag-translate. 
Say English. Okay, please Your beauty is translate it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes we always say, we always say, di ka man ay may natigimungan. Hindi ka na naman nag-church. Instead, natanungin natin, are you okay? Bakit hindi ka nag-church? But sometimes, sometimes, dahil na kaagad-agad, yung sinasabi natin, judgmental ka agad-agad, wala pinto. Amen. <laughs> wala judgmental. Amen. Pero sometimes, ganun, di ba? Yes. Bigay mo na, thank you all. <laughs> Kaya ito, kung may swing down ka na, ito, pagpapagod, hindi ka na swing down. Ay, bigay mo na, thank you. Hindi pa kayo na, thank you. But you know, You don't know. Tapos sasabihin niya, Pasensya ka na mama, nagkasabay ko kasi ako. Wala kasi akong low. Sometimes, we sometimes, we put our own judgment again. And here comes Apostle Paul. Anong nangyayari sa kanya? Okay. Alam niyo ba nung sinulat ni Apostle Paul itong Hebrews chapter 6? Okay. In particular to chapter 6 ha. Okay. Hagagaling lang niya ng malta. Oh. Di ba kung babasahin mo ito? Wala nang malta dyan. Kasi yung malta dyan sa Hebrews chapter 6 pasto. Okay. Kaya isa ko kaya pinag-aralan namin yan. Nung sinulat niya ang chapter 6, He live mouth. Katatapos lang niya yung experience from the shipwreck in Malta and entering to Rome. That's why Malta is very near to Rome. Tamang-tama, kagagaling lang namin recently doon sa Malta. Kung sino pong nakakakilala kina Sister Yoli Pade, okay, kilala niyo siya? Okay. Kung hindi, okay. <laughs> Kung nakakakilala sa kanya, to God be the glory, siya po ang contact po natin doon. And hopefully, By God's grace and by God's favor, we will be starting a new church in Malta for Sister Yoli. Praise the Lord! Sige po. Ano po ang sabi niya? For the sake, for for your sake, it's really, it's really, ang tawag dito, it's really an encouragement para sa inyo, mga mga taga-agabi. Alam mo yung sinasabi mo lang? Sinasabi ni Sister Yoli, lahat ng mga ginagawa ko dito sa mga kanayon, it all started in a happy. Amen. Hindi ko alam yun. Ang laki pala ng ginawa ng Panginoon. Amen. Thank Lord. Ngayon, she and they are ready, hindi lang siya, they are ready to shine for the Lord. Sister, Sister Yoli is a former Iglesia Christian, but was converted into the belief of the Lord when he, when they when he, when he worked when she worked in here in here in, in here in Bicosilla. and now she is ready to be used for the Lord to proclaim the good news in Malta to the Lord. Amen. 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 Kaya please, agape! Agape! Mag-agape tayo! <laughs> okay? Kumayo tayo dahil you don't know yung mga yung mga nakatira dito. You don't know. You don't know. It, it, you are expanding. And salamat sa inyong mga buhay. Salamat sa inyong mga buhay. Every time natutugtog siya, 
every time na kakanta siya. Every time. Sabi niya, kapag mag-start na ang IFB Malta, ang pangalan ay yan kami. Alam mo yun? Hindi. Kaya ako sinasabi kayo, for you to have a plan, please pray for them. Please include them in your plan. Please make a way to reach them. Encourage them. Praise the name of the Lord. Congratulations, Agape. Nagana ay maling kapupukutan. Do you agree? Congratulations, mga pastors. Maling kayo kayo ng bako. Okay, as a church, pag-i-explain and pag-i-i ang pagkawal mo. Mahalaga po kasi, mahalaga po kasi ang isang church ay nag-e-expand because that is the that is the plan of the Lord for each and every one of us. Regardless of the church, regardless of the organization, whether you are a pastor or not, but if you are willing to be part into the ministry of the Lord, because Jesus is coming already. Going back, going back, in NIV, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. Please take note the, the last the last line. It enters the inner sanctuary. Okay, in ICB or International Children's Bible uh, says, we have this hope as an anchor for the hope or for the soul. Sure and strong. Sabi doon sa taas, fear and secure. Dito, yung anchor and hope ay sure and strong. Sure and strong and or fear and secure. If it is secure, if it is strong, if it is if it is fear, if it is secure, then, then, there must be something that is in or indicated in this concept. So, let's start to study. Dalawa lang, hope and anchor. Jesus Christ as the hope of our soul. What does this mean when the Apostle Paul said that Jesus Christ is the anchor or is the hope of uh, the soul? When, when, kung uh, mababasa po natin, mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, okay, doon sa Hebrews din, okay, sa, sa NIV, nag-focus na ako doon sa NIV, okay, we have this hope, okay, ang hope, next uh, slide, ang hope, hope means, yeah, okay, hope is a feeling of confidence, expectation, it's a feeling of desire and trust, it's a firm assurance regarding things that are unclear and unknown. Isa isa yung po natin. Feeling of confident expectation. Okay. So, Paul is trying to present and convince his readers or his audience. Sino yung mga audience ni Paul dito sa Book of Hebrews? Sinulat ni Apostle Paul ang Book of Hebrews that is to encourage, or that was to encourage uh, the, the believers during that time because there was uh, there was a sudden attack again. Okay. There was a sudden uh, uh, ano tawag dito? Para uh, para a test of faith doon sa mga kapatiran mga believers mga new and old believers. That's why sumulat si Apostle Paul 
to encourage all those new and old believers. Okay. Emphasizing the truth or reminding them the truth about Jesus Christ. Kaya nga, ginamit niya yung word na ho. Ano ba talang tagalog ng ho? Mabor. Mag-asa. Mag-asa. Okay, kayo naman. Joke lang. Okay. Feeling of confident expectation. Confident na nga expectation pa. Okay. Ano ang ibig sabihin when we say confident expectation? Ito yung sigurado na tayo. Ito yung there is a certainty of the things Okay. The certainty of the things na mangyayari, hindi sa palaran. Okay. When we say hope, you know that this will happen. You know that this is certain. When you put your hope or when you act it, you act on it, there is something that you are sure. That's why if you are a single, still single, and you are looking for somebody or a lifetime partner, at sasabihin mo, Kaya, trenta na ako, urasin nyo. It's good. It's good that the majority here are females. Bibigyan po kayo ng idea. May I propose kung meron ng lilitaw sa inyo. O, ito. Ganito ang tanungin ninyo. What is your plan for me? No, I'm not going to go to the church. 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 Ganun ang ginawa ko. I laid down my plan. These are my plans. What can you say? Pero yung lalaki na, anong plan mo? Wala basta, mahal kita. Bro, bro. You need to ask, what is your plan to me? Kung clear yun sa kanya, ibig sabihin meron siyang direction. Ibig sabihin, kung meron siyang masasabi, determined siya. Kasi kung sasabihin niya, bahala na. Kasi ano nga yun? Paano na lang kapag may nakakita siya ng iba? Eh di bahala. Ang 
Sabi ko hindi. Hindi mo na malahin na ako. Anong nangyari? Tulog ka. Kung anong mangyayari 
sa kanya sa Jerusalem. He is still obey the Lord. Katulad kanina, doon sa exhortation ng Kevin,